All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things entrepreneurship, personal credit, business credit, and just about everything in between that's going to help you make more money and live a better life. So when it comes to business credit, there's something that I don't believe I've seen enough of, and I want to shed some light on it in this video because it can make a break on whether you get a funding for a $10,000 amount or a $100,000 amount or even beyond that. So this video is gonna be short, it's gonna be sweet, and it's going to be concise, so pay very close attention. In the business credit world, it differs from, from the personal credit space. And what I mean by that is, in the business credit space, you have industries. And in each of those industries, you have certain industries that are seen as riskier than others. Uh, so you'll have, let's say, one industry that could be maybe uh, a bit more prone to going out of business versus another industry that, well, not many people get into it, so there's really no one going out of business, and well, sometimes those industries are even more lucrative than some of the ones that people are getting into. I'll give you an example here. If someone is getting into the restaurant business, the restaurant business, statistically speaking, is more likely to fall behind on some of their payments for either equipment or supplies, and they are more likely to default on their debts. Now, those aren't my numbers, those are stats directly from the SBA. So now that we understand that there's certain industries that are maybe seen as riskier to lenders than others, there's something known as an NAICS code that is attached to your uh, business credit card application or to your business funding application. That NAICS code, again, without getting too deep into this, right, because we wanna keep this video uh, clear and concise, it identifies what type of industry you're in. So let's say if you're in the trucking industry, let's say that you're in the real estate industry, let's say that you're in the business consulting industry, let's say that you're in the chefs and pastries industry, whatever that NAICS code is, it's going to get attached to your uh, business credit profile when you are establishing your business and you're opening up a business bank account and when you file your taxes and then it also attaches to you if you are applying for SBA type of loans or grants. This is important to know because depending on the NAICS code that you get categorized under, it can put a little asterisk or a red flag on your file and it can tell lenders, okay, we're going to lend to, let's say this business, but it may not be the same amount that we would have lended them had they been the other business or another type of industry in that business all things being equal. So let's say that you have person A and they have a business, but it's seen as a high risk. They make $100,000 a year in revenue. Uh, they have their business credit profile has been built out. Uh, they've been in business for three years. Take person B, take the same stats that I just gave you, but they are considered in a low uh, risk type of industry that person is going to see a far greater amount lended out to them, not because they did anything differently, but because of the way that they categorized it. So when you are applying for business funding and when you are establishing your LLC or your S Corp, whatever entity you decide to use, make sure that you're paying very close attention to that NAICS code. So let's say that you're in the real estate industry and you use the code real estate. Well, guess what? The real estate industry has right around 32 subsections right under that coding, meaning uh, are you a real estate agent? Are you considered a real estate appraisal, appraiser? Are you, consider, are you considered a real estate inspector? Are you considered a real estate surveyor, the person that goes out and they, and they survey uh, plots and they survey land? Are you considered a real estate title company? All of these are different uh, risk factors that plays a big role into the amount of funding that you get if you even get approved for certain lines of credit as well. So I just wanted to drop that tip for you because it will make or break the amount of money that you access for your business. If you want me and my team to kind of coach you on a quick call, it's completely free. We can let you know what some of your options are to help you get funded. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description. Go ahead and book a free complimentary call with us and we can let you know how we can structure your business funding and some different options that you potentially have. If you found value in this content, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Join the official community. Don't forget that anytime I'm not posting on here, I'm posting over on the Inside with Irv show, which is my podcast out channel. So. If you like what we have going on over here, you'll love what we have going on over there. Once again, I appreciate you guys checking me out. Till next time, everyone, I will see you in the next video.